Natasha, your teacher for today. I'm really glad because we are here again as we listen to another wonderful story from the Bible. How about you? How are you? Did you feel happy and excited too? Yes! That's great! I hope you feel happy and excited to watch the story that we are going to have today. But before anything else, let's have the things that we need to prepare for our activity later. Please prepare the following. A pencil or a pen. A notebook or a piece of paper and some coloring materials, namely red, blue, yellow, and green. Is everything ready, kids? Yes! Great! If so, let us begin our study with a prayer. Abba, our Father, You are the Holy and Almighty God. We thank You for this new day in our life so we can learn another lesson from the Bible. We also thank you for loving us, guiding us, and protecting us through the day. Forgive us, O Lord, for all the wrong things that we have done. Please help us to be gentle and kind to others and obey your commandments. All this we pray and ask in your holy name, Christ Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Oh, did you hear that right? Yes. Before we listen to our story today, we will play first. The title of our game is the Sound Chain Game. On your screen, you will see a series of actions that create a sound, like clapping and stomping. Each round has a pattern of actions that we must remember. Right after showing the actions on the screen, we need to imitate those. In this game, we have 5 rounds and the patterns that we will imitate will become more difficult for every next level. When you make a mistake in the pattern for a certain level, you will not be able to join the next round. The goal of the players is to reach the final round. Round 1 Clap, clap, stomp Round 2 Clap, clap, stomp, stomp, finger snap Round 3 Clap, clap, stomp, stomp, finger snap, finger snap Round 4 Clap, clap Stomp, stomp, finger snap, finger snap, clap. Round 5. Clap, clap, stomp, stomp, finger snap, finger snap, clap, clap, snap. Did you reach the fifth round? Awesome! Let's clap our hands. May I ask you now to listen carefully in our story today? And may we all give our full attention as we listen to our story today. Thank you so much, kids. The next thing we will do is to explain some of the words we will hear from the Bible story. Race of Levi, one of the twelve tribes of Israel. Reed stock, reed is a type of weed or tall grass that lives in wet areas of riverside. It is used to make brooms and baskets like what we are going to have in our story later. Tar Tar is a type of resin that is dark in color, viscous and sticky. It comes from charcoal and wood. For example, tar is used for wiping under cars and painting on the wood. Nile River this is a major river in the African continent. It is estimated to be the longest river in the world, reaching 6,650 kilometers. Kids, do you know Moses? He was the chosen servant of God to free the Israelites from slavery in Egypt. 
you might already know one of the famous things God did through Moses. And that was to divide the Red Sea. But before Moses became an instrument to many good works of God, he was a baby at first who experienced wonderful protection from God. Our story for today is all about the birth of Moses. There was a man named Amr, who married a woman named Chokabed. They were Hebrews from the tribe of Levi, and both of them were slaves from Egypt. Later on, Chokabed got pregnant and gave birth to a son. Their child is a healthy baby, but their baby is in a serious danger. Pharaoh ordered that all baby boys born in the family of Hebrew slaves must be killed by throwing the babies to the river. Pharaoh was alarmed of increasing number of Israelites. After knowing all of this, Chokabed hide her baby for three months. But when she could no longer hide the baby, she took a basket made from reeds and coated it with tar. Right after, she placed the baby in the basket and floated it to the water, next to the tall grass on the banks of the Nile River. Miriam stood not far away. She is the sister of the baby. She was watching over his brother to see what would happen to him. Few moments later, one of the fairest daughter went to the Nile River to bat. On the other hand, the princess maid was walking along the shore. The princess saw the basket in the tall grass, so she ordered her maid to pick it up for her. The princess opened the basket and saw a baby. She felt sorry for the baby for he didn't stop crying, the princess said. This is one of the Hebrews babies. Miriam, sister of the baby, immediately approached the princess. She asked, Would you like me to get you a Hebrew woman who will take care of the baby for you? Yes, the princess replied. So Miriam brought her mother to the princess, and the princess said, Take care of this baby, and I will pay you. The mother took her baby and cared for her. Years passed, and the baby has grown up. His mother took him to the princess, and there she treated him as her real son. The princess named the child Moses because she said, I took him from the water. That is where the Bible story ends, the birth of Moses. Now, from the story that we have heard from the Bible today, let's find out the lessons that we must learn from it. First, let us trust that God is protecting us. Have you seen it, kids? How God amazingly protected Moses? Because God has prepared many good things for Moses and for the people of Israel. God didn't allow baby Moses to perish. God even made sure that Moses was safe because after that his real mother took care of him, he was given to the princess of Egypt and treated him as her real son. So kids, let us trust that God will protect and will watch over us. Just what he had done to Moses, we can hope that God cares for us in the same way. Whatever happens in the world, even there are problems approaching. Even sometimes we feel lonely. Let us not lose faith in God. Let us always remember that God loves us very much. And God has prepared lots 
of wonderful things for us. Secondly, appreciate our loved ones whom God prepared to take care of us. Kids, we saw how much Jochebed loved her son Moses. She kept him for three months so that he will not perish. And when Jochebed could not hide Moses anymore, did she just throw Moses into the river? No, she prepared a basket and placed Moses inside. She let the basket floated near to the shore of Nile River. That is how God used Jochebed to protect Moses. We also see how God made Miriam, sister of Moses, an instrument. Because she watched over Moses, she saw that the princess was the one who took his little brother. Miriam was also the way to let her mother take care of Moses. God is great, isn't he? In our lives, kids, God also made an instrument to take care of us. Dad, mom, sister, and brother are God's instrument to look after us every day. They are God's way to make us feel His love. That's why we have a house to live in, bed to sleep in, and food to eat. Because of our God-given loved ones. Kids, that's why we must appreciate our loved ones. We should always look for a lot of opportunities for us to do good deeds unto them and show our love to them. Even simple, I love you. To dad, mom, sister, and brother, we can surely express our love to them. Of course, let's not forget to show our love through doing good acts. Let's be kind and obedient children. If they commanded us, let's obey immediately and do not stomp your feet just because you feel annoyed. If we can help at house chores, let's do it willingly, together with our family, the brethren of the church, such as Mahanaims, deacons, and deaconesses, even us, your teachers, are God's way to protect you as well as to help you because we want you to be good children until you grow up. We will see if you listened well to our story. We will need your pencil, your notebook or a clean sheet of paper, and your coloring materials. On a clean sheet of paper, draw five hearts, just like what we can see now on the screen. We are going to see five questions about our story. In each question, there are four choices. The color that corresponds your answer is the one you will use to color the heart. Are you all ready? Here are the questions. Number one, what is the name of Moses' mother and father? Red for Aaron and Miriam, blue for Adam and Eve, yellow for Amram and Jochebed, green for Isaac and Rebecca. Number two, who is the sister of Moses? Red for Miriam, blue for Leah, yellow for Sarah, and green for Princess. Which is the river where baby Moses floated? Red, Pasig River, Blue, Nile River, Yellow, Red Sea, Green, Jordan River. Number four, 
How long did the mother of Moses kept him before he was being floated in the river? Red, six months. Blue, ten months. Yellow, five months. Green, three months. In which country did the Hebrews serve as slaves? just like Moses' mother and father. Red, Elim. Blue, Egypt. Yellow, Dedan. Green, Persia. The correct answers to the questions are Number one, Yellow. Number two, Red. Number three, blue. Number four, green. And number five, blue. For our second activity, we will be needing a pencil or a pen, a notebook or a piece of paper. On the screen, we will see a verse from the Bible. But wait a minute, let's not write it down first. In three minutes, let's try to memorize the verse. After this, we will be given mixed words that when correctly arranged, will completely form the verse that we are going to read afterwards. Is it clear? If so, here's the verse. We may pause the video for a while. In this point, let's scramble the words. From these scrambled words, let us write on a piece of paper the correct word order to complete the verse. You only have one minute to write it down. Let's pause the video again for a minute. Are you done, kids? Very good! The verse written on Psalm chapter 121, verse 2, shows what we should all remember. Our Lord is Almighty. He made the heaven as well as the earth. That's why we can assure that we will receive His help for us. Now, we are on the last part of our gathering. May I ask you now to please close your eyes, bow your heads, and feel the presence of our loving Lord. Abba, our Father, you are the holy and almighty God. Father, we are thankful at this moment, for you have shared another wonderful story with us. Thank you for giving us our loving parents who take care of us. God, may you always put faith in our hearts so we can face the challenges in life bravely and joyfully. All this we pray and ask in your holy name, our Lord and our Savior. Amen. Thank you so much for joining me in listening another Bible story today. Again, I'm Teacher Maresha. See you again in our next gathering. May God protect us all. Miss Ba Kids! The captain is the Lord, we're sailing home.